What's going on everybody? Rob here, Traps2323. This is one thing I wanted to come out and show you a picture of, uh, George Lake. George Lake is over here in uh, Whiten, Indiana, Hammond, Indiana, uh, Northwest Indiana. And normally the water on this lake comes all the way to right here. I mean it comes all the way literally right here. And if you can see right now, it's dry. I mean, you can see land within there all the way. There's no lake. You know, I know people everywhere else, you know, are, are over flooded with water. But this is what happens when you don't get water in 30 days. I mean, it's it rained and missed it a couple times. But within about 30 days here in Chicago, there was no water. That's why the grass looks so dry. And I mean, this is this is why when I'm, you know I'm doing my job, people say, "Oh, I bet you hate the snow." No, I really don't hate the snow. I hate when it doesn't snow because the rain and the snow fills up these freshwater lakes. I'm gonna see if I can go out on that and walk on it. The irony is, okay, I'm trying to get out to the lake. The irony is, you find little paths that you can walk through, and more than likely, these paths were created by one of two things either deer or coyotes okay they look like tadpoles they're taking off right when I get them closer it's like they hear me and they take off see there they go see them but they're not big enough for me to actually see what look at man they're taking off real fast shooting all across but they're not big enough for me to see what they are pretty neat okay now here I, I am by the big lily pads and see this is shoreline that's the shoreline all over there and I'm all the way out here basically in the lake trying to see if I can see anything in the lake or like when it starts to regress or go back in what happens to the fish that are in here? The lily pads look beautiful. Okay, either way I wanted to show you George Lake. If I had more time or if the sun was out, we could probably make out what those are. That are just taking off on me when I'm uh, out here walking. But, uh, yeah, this is the whole lake, the dried up lake right here. It looks like a beach. Okay, I seen somebody else, a resident of the neighborhood right now, and they were riding by and they actually got off their bike because they see me walking out here. And normally with the brush, you can't really tell, but they could not believe that the lake is this dry. They cannot believe that the lake is this dry. They said that their kids actually used to fish out here and they're supposed to be fishing here every Saturday. Well. How are you supposed to fish here? Okay, there's some movement over here. I think those are tadpoles and frogs. See, look at... I mean, they are moving when I get there. Okay, one just shot right there. I'm trying to get closer to see what they are. Man, whatever it is, is so tiny I cannot make it out. It's like right here by my feet and it's that tiny that I can't make it out. Now this right here, I am in mud. I stepped in mud trying to find out what those things were. It's a fish. It's right there. It's a fish. Those are tiny, tiny, tiny little fish that are left here. So what's going to happen to them? See, look at all of them right there. Look at all of them. What's going to happen when there's no more water for them here? I'm trying to see if there's what's the biggest one that I could see. And there's not even any that I could see big to the naked eye. They're little gray fish. But that's kind of a little bit deeper puddle for them to be in at least. I would be wondering what is the biggest fish left 
in, in this lake right here. What would the biggest fish, you know, that got left behind would be? You know me, I fish anything. Wherever I'm at, I, I'll fish it. But I don't see anything to the naked eye. It wasn't the same. You could be in some streams, upstreams, and there will be a big bass right there laying in the middle that you won't see. Okay, I seen well, a bunch of them just shot across right there. A bunch of them just shot across. Yeah. There are a bunch of them in there. Yeah. So there are a lot of fish left in here, but they're baby fish that's left in here. There's where I was standing talking to you. And here's the lake bed. I mean, that is a lot of lake that's missing. Let me just make it to this tire right here. And then after that, I gotta get back out of here. My wife is actually standing at the mark point where I could walk back uh, to the uh, land without going through all the brush. But yes, those are all little fishes. All little fishes swimming around through there still. So there are fish out here still, but they're tiny, tiny, tiny baby fish. I wonder, going back out that way, going back out that way, what's the biggest fish left in here? Because there were some big bass in here. Look, motorcycle, dirt bike tracks. Somebody was dirt biking out here. So maybe they made the track for me to come in on. But uh, I know deer come back here and coyotes are in the area. So either way, I wanted to show you why, why we need rain, why we need snow. I mean, we're right by Chicago and Chicago, when you get all that deep snow and it melts, it melts and fills the lakes back up. Uh, uh, when it rains, it pours, like I said, this is hard ground. This should be muddy ground at least, but it, there's not even muddy ground in here. It's just dry. Okay, so I'm at the other lake. I'm gonna try, George Lake is on this side, but here's where the pier is at by the golf course. And this used to all be underwater also. There used to be like water right here on both sides of this over here. And I'm gonna try to climb up there or go around there to see George Lake, but I'm. I'm gonna run out on this pier real fast. So here I am in the Lost Marsh Pier. And like I said before, this all the way back used to be water. And you see, it's not as deep as it used to be. It's pretty cool. I actually fished here one, no, no, I fished, I didn't fish. I actually came here to look to see if I was gonna fish. But, uh, I heard a couple guys, he said he got a couple crappio off of here. Some people say they catch bass out of here. So I don't know if it's true or not. I personally didn't see it. More little fish swimming around. You see all the little bubbles in the water right there? And then here, danger deep water. No swimming, no diving. Having poor authority. If I had my pole right here, guess what I would do? Yes, I would. Yes, I would. Yes, I would fish it. So I got to bring my pole back to work with me. There's the golf course right there. And there's more where water used to go up there. See the brown line out there? That's where used to, water used to be all the way up to right there. And now it's all brown line all the way around there. So my next video I'm going to shoot is me fishing over here. So stay tuned for that video. But this is Lost Marsh. George Lake is the other side over there. So I can't see a way to kind of walk in there right now. And it's getting kind of late. So you gotta stay tuned for part two of the video, but for right now, I'm gonna see if I could just see from driving back out of here. But you get to where I'm at right here, uh, behind, I think it's uh, Kaima College over here. Is it Kaima College? I think it's Kaima College that you get drive behind here. And uh, it's the observation deck. It would be cool to see some wildlife there, wouldn't it? You see the movement in the water? I got my new balances, so I'm not jumping down there. And like I said before, this used to be water all right here. All the way back right here used to be water. And on both sides. 
it's still a little muddy but it's not like the water that used to come all the way back it used to go like maybe up to right here <laughs> distance wise i don't know what that is anyways i headed back to the van i wanted to try to see the other side of george lake but that'll be a nice long walk and uh, it's already getting late so either way thanks for watching talk to you later subscribe like and share so cool i'm driving away and the little kid behind me stopped and turned around and had his phone and he's youtubing me right now and the mom's wondering what he's doing calling him and he's youtubing me okay for right now this is the best shot of the other side of george lake i can get it's getting late already there's george lake all the way over there that's the other side of the lake but there's no water on it and you can't really tell the difference from this side of it but i just was walking and going out to the pier to talk to a fisherman and he said the same thing he said the gates were locked and he went over there him and his buddy and said there was no lake to fish he said when did that happen you know and then and we were reminiscing about the pier over here you know by lost marsh that that water used to come all the way back and it's really low over there so i'm gonna go home and pray for some rain i guess